and triumph over them. And you gave us victory. And now we decree that by faith, everyone present here will live to see 2025. The mud of embers will not swallow you. You will not die but live. I say you will not die but live. Your faith will carry you through. Shout aloud, I'm born to win. I'm born to conquer. And I will make it in life. Amen. Bring it down a little. All right, sit down. Take out your Bible. I'm teaching this morning. I may be preaching as well, but more of teaching because the truth you know is what will set you free. Hosea chapter 4 verse 6 says, My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. If you think that education is expensive, they say you should try ignorance. It leads you nowhere. Are you listening to me? The reason why somebody is better than you and richer than you is because he knows something that you do not know. The day you discover what he knows, you will probably be richer than him. Dangote is feeding the whole nation because of what he knows and what he has implemented. Show me a man that is diligent in his business. He will not sit with Kwekwe men. He will eat with kings. Look at your neighbor and tell him you are where you are because of your behavior and your knowledge. A lot of people in this area are not trying to insult you. They have no interest in the education of their children. Your father was a palm wine tapper, and you want your children to also become palm wine tapper. You are the greatest mogu on earth. I have always prayed that my children will be better and greater than myself. Not just biological alone, but even you looking at me. You will be greater than me. Better than me. I'm only an example to you. And by the grace of God, I have not let you down. Or brought reproach to you. And you don't bring reproach to me either. <laughs> Are you listening? So this morning we'll be talking about walking like Jesus. Tell your neighbor, you need to walk like Jesus. Talk like Jesus. Do things like Jesus. The Bible says, as he is, so are we on this earth. They were first called Christians at Antioch because they were acting like Jesus. Today, the church is loaded with all kinds of people. Look at your neighbor and ask him, are you a Shoshian or you are a Christian? There is a difference between Shoshianity and Christianity. Christianity is founded by Christ and he has followers and disciples that are listening to him and they want to do his will. Because when he came to this world, before he arrived, he proclaimed through the prophets, I have come in the volume of the books is written of me to do your will, O oh God. Raise your right hand and say, I'm born to please God and do the will of God. If you came in as a prostitute, you can't remain a prostitute. If you came in as a thief, you can't remain a thief. If you came in as an armed robber, you can't remain as an armed robber. Because if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things they pass away. 
all things become new. Ask your neighbor, where is the new thing in your life? Has God transformed you? You cannot have an encounter with Jesus without having a change in your life. I was a rascal. I was Nigerian boomer. You call me area boy, you are correct. A man saw me. I don't forget it. I was on holiday. And he said, if I see four people like you, I don't need to ask whether they are armed robbers. Because it's not the way you are seeing me now. Then I had no hair in my head. I'm wearing black goggle. Tell your neighbor, if you are fond of wearing black goggle, you are hiding something. It is very simple. To come to Christ and be born of God. Nicodemus said, how can a man be born again? And Jesus told him, that which is born of the flesh is flesh. But that which is born of the spirit is spirit. He said, marvel now. Don't be surprised. Don't wonder because I'm telling you to be born again. The wind is blowing. You don't know where it's coming from and you don't know where it's going. So is everyone born of God. It is not by feeling. It is not by joining the church that you become born again. It is by having an encounter, a divine encounter with God. And my prayer for you this morning is that you will have an encounter with Jesus. I say you will have an encounter with Jesus. Jacob was a trickster, was a wireless, 419. But when God met him, or he met God, God gave him an encounter, and that transformed him to Israel. A prince of God. But some of us claiming we are born again, but we are a disgrace. And a reproach. I was going through certain things recently this week, and in the city of Texas alone, we could count notable pastors, more than nine, who have resigned because they messed up. Especially in the area of immorality. Because the church is no longer having impact on the society or on the world. The world is dominating the church. Instead of the world copying us, we are copying the world. And there are lies that Satan is giving to you. That when you commit sin, it doesn't matter. Everybody is doing it. After all, what is the sin you committed? There's no sin you commit that God can't forgive you. Those are some of the lies and deception that we are receiving. Yes, you have found grace. Yes, grace has been given to you. But grace is not given to you as a license to live in sin and practice sin. He that commits sin or practices sin is of the devil and for this purpose was the son of God made manifest that he might destroy the works of the devil that addiction will be broken this morning I said that addiction will be broken this morning that power that is dominating you that is making you to say you cannot sleep without sex will be broken from your life I said it will be broken from your life God created you for his glory and he wants you to bring glory for him. You are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a peculiar person and you have been chosen to show forth the glory of your God. You can stay away from sin. You can live on this earth without practicing sin. Acts 10.38 How God anointed Jesus 
Christ of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and power. And he went about doing good, healing all those that were sick and delivering the oppressed. He came for a purpose. And as many that believe in him and that will receive him, he gives them power to become sons and daughters of God. If you are already a Christian, listen to what the Bible says. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, is going about looking for how to destroy you. Are you listening to me? I love Papa Deboe, but he didn't die for you. I love Papa Ayo, but he didn't die for you. I love uh, Oyedepo, but none of them died for you. I love myself, but I didn't die for you. Jesus died for you, and the Bible has instructed you, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of your faith. Don't look unto men. Look unto Jesus. I say, look unto Jesus. I say, look unto Jesus. Set your affections on things above, not on things of this earth. For you are born again, you've been redeemed. And when Christ, that's your life, will appear, you will be like him. Let a change happen in your life. Are you listening to me? You are not of the world. You are in the world, but you are not of the world. You are the salt of the earth. You are the light of the world. And don't play with that. That's a big thing to you. You are an ambassador of Christ. The representative of Jesus Christ. Let them see your light. Shine forth. Be serious with your Christianity. Be committed. Don't play about it. Some of you are still wondering, is Christianity really true? Did Jesus actually die? Is there heaven? Is there hell? Is it until you get there before you believe? Look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor, hell is real. And heaven is real. Heaven is for those who practice righteousness. Hell is for those who practice righteousness wickedness and sin are you listening to me first john chapter 2 from verse 3 and hereby we do know that we know him ask your neighbor do you know him hereby we do know that we know him if we do what we keep his commandments and he that and he that saith, I know him, and keepeth not his commandment, is what? He's a liar, and the truth is not what? In him. But whosoever keepeth his word, whosoever keepeth his word, whosoever keepeth his word, in him verily is the love of God perfected. Hereby know we that we are in him. He that said he abided in him ought himself also to do what? Walk. Walk even as he walked. That's my message. We can close now. Tell your neighbor, walk like him. Walk like Talk, him. Like him. Talk like him. Lift your two hands to heaven and say, Father, Make me an example of you upon the earth. Amen. There is no fear of God any longer in the hearts of men and women, and especially even Christians. We live anyhow, talk anyhow, act anyhow. It, there is, it can't be like that. There is a standard for every believer. And Jesus Christ must be your standard. I say Jesus must be your standard. The Bible said he was tempted in all points. But without sin. 
He knew his purpose. And because of the cause that is set before him, he endured suffering. Read your Bible. Hebrews chapter 12. The Bible said he went through pain and praying in the garden and the sweat that was coming out of his body was mixed with blood. Have you prayed like that? Have you resisted sin to a point where blood was coming out of your body? Or you begin to thank God. I'm not the one who sent for her. She came to me. And so it's a free meal. Yes, we know you have. Listen, I have my struggles. And you have your struggles. But you must not intentionally walk into sin. If you desire purity, if you desire holiness, the Holy Spirit will help you to be holy. God will help you to be holy. I thank God right from 1975 till now I've been on the right road. Ask your neighbor, are you on the right road now? Or which road are you? Leading to hell or leading to heaven? <laughs> Judy is in church today. <laughs> Hebrews chapter 4. Read for me from verse 14. Hebrews chapter 4. Hebrews 4, 14. Yeah. Seeing then that we have a great high priest. The, seeing then that we have a great high priest. That is passed into the heaven. Uh -huh. Jesus the son of God. Do you see that? Let us hold fast our profession. Let us hold fast our Christianity. Our faith. Our belief. This thing you say you are a Christian. Are you acting like one? Are you walking like one? Are you talking like one? You come to church. You are not hearing the word of God. You are pressing phone. Why the preaching is going on? You are already in hell. That's the fact. Ask your neighbor again. Do you really know him? Or you are pretending? Practicing Christianity. Christianity is to have an identity and say, I am a member of so so church. But you don't practice anything from the world. You have not changed. You are still operating with the old heart. They call a young boy of, I don't think that boy is up to 14 years old. Who was kidnapping and helping to, you know, get people to be killed and they extract their kidneys. Very small boy. And how much was he being paid? He said 25, 25,000 naira. We have legalized corruption. We have legalized stealing. We have legalized every evil thing in the land. He said, well, the Yahoo boys are the ones making the economy to be steady. Then the whole of Nigeria will go to hell. If only you know the suffering that is awaiting you. Listen, if you are a Yahoo boy, hear me. Your mouth will be loaded with gravel. You are going to eat granite. You and your girlfriends. Can a man put fire on his bosom and not be born? Can you mash nails that are exposed with which they want to use in pushing your tire on the road? Then you see those people stopping you and you jump on, you don't even have shoes with your bare leg and you jump on those their nails. What will happen to you? You'll be badly wounded. Huh? Is it grass cutter that have uh, shuku shuku or uh, porcupine. porcupine? Ask your neighbor, can you cash 
porcupine with your bare hand. Ask your neighbor. Ask your neighbor. All of you are waiting for. <laughs> Listen, she's enjoying it, so she will do it more. <laughs> because she's getting your attention. All right? But that's not my preaching, okay? Listen to me carefully. There is no word that God has given in this Bible that is wrong. You are the one that is wrong. Are you listening to me? The Bible said, do hand join in hand, the wicked shall not go unpunished. Are you listening to me? Stolen water is sweet, but you don't know that the dead are there. Keep drinking it. As much as possible, flee every appearance of evil. I didn't come today to entice you with men's wisdom and just hype you. Oh, your bread is rolling now. I'm seeing it. It's coming. It's coming. Coming. Your blessing. Your blessing. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it now. Today, not be like that. Today, you will examine yourself whether you are in the faith. Because many of you are not serious. And I will be held responsible if I don't talk to you like this. Because the time has come when men and women are looking for teachers. They themselves, they have itching ears. And they are looking for teachers with itching ears. And they want to hear what they like. They want to be able to select what should be preached to them. It is not so. You can't be heading to hell. Then I will be clapping for you. Shall we continue in sin so that grace will continue or abound? Come on, answer me. Shall we continue in sin so that grace will abound? Some of you, you are both children. You are a Christian. You are both children. And you are planning that you will get married. The child you killed is waiting for you. You will be shocked when you will start roaming about looking for children. Because that child you killed will be telling the rest children, don't enter her womb. She's a murderer. You are laughing. I'm telling you practical truth. It is the spiritual that governs the physical. Trace your life. The thing you are suffering from, so you can trace it to what you did some years back. Oh, the blood of Jesus covers everything. It doesn't work that way. What you sow is what you are going to what? Reap. Some of you are tired already. I'm preaching to myself as well. Did you finish that scripture? No, sir. Finish it. For we have not an high priest which cannot be touched with We the do of our not have an high priest that cannot be touched with our weaknesses. The word infirmities there means your weaknesses. Okay? Yes? But was in all points tempted like as we he are. He was tempted just as we are being tempted. Yet without sin. Yet without sin. Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace uh -huh. that we may obtain mercy and uh -huh. find grace to help in time of need. Uh -huh. When I finished from school, before I finished from school, I had girlfriends. I wasn't saved. But when I gave my life to Christ, I said bye-bye. And I remember walking in NCIA in Worry. I came from work. One of my girlfriends, 10 p.m., appeared in my room. I was alone in the room, only one room. There was one chair, the bed this way. 
and one chair facing the bed and table in the center. She sat there and she opened up herself. And I was wearing pajamas, no pants, because I was already trying to sleep. And she was missing. If I had climbed that girl that night and slept with her, I would not be here preaching to you. My destiny will have been derailed. Look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor, don't play with your consecration. Samson thought that he could live in sin and practice, you know, immorality and nothing will happen. And he got involved with Delilah. There's Delilah all around you. They are on Facebook. They are on Instagram. They are everywhere. And some are even in the church. Some may be sitting by you even right now. And they want to pull you down. Samson had no discernment. He had no concern about when the Bible said, don't be equally or unequally yoked with unbelievers. He said, that is, I don't care about that. I like Delilah. And he started following Delilah. And the Bible said, Delilah reduced him to a piece of bread. Blinded him, took out the eyes, and they tied him to a pillar. And they were making jest of the judge of Israel. Why? Because he was not conscious of his consecration. He revealed his own secret. He said, When you crepe my hair, you will take the glory from me, and you will take the anointing away, and I will be like ordinary man. Do you want to be anointed or you want to be ordinary man? And he allowed that to happen. And what happened? They blinded him, making jest of him. Finally, he died in the hands of the enemy. That was not the plan of God for him. We must learn from that. Something failed. But Joseph didn't fail. He had no pastor in Egypt. He had no brother in Egypt. There was no church that would encourage him. But he knew God. Tell your neighbor, if we claim we know him, then we must walk as he walked. We must talk like him, act like him, live like him. Don't say nobody is watching. So I will continue. Heaven is watching. Are you listening to me? Wherever you go, carry the presence of God and practice the presence of God. There is a reward for living right. I said there is a reward for living right. I said there is a reward for living right. If you will live right, you will live long. Are you listening to me? God will bless you with long life because you set your mind and your affections on me and you said you will not be like the world and you will not copy the world. Therefore, the Lord your God will bless you and bless your bread, bless your water and satisfy you with long life. Don't play with church. Don't play with the word of God. Don't come to church I just be laughing. People do all kinds of things today in the name of say church. If the pulpit allowed it, the congregation will celebrate it. Did you hear me? If the pastor allows it, the congregation will celebrate. In Atlanta here, one crazy pastor in the name of winning souls and he wanted to bring the area boys in Atlanta to his church he said buy India hand for them 
Because that's what they are looking for. He said, let them come. And he was even saying he will buy a land and cultivate India hem. So there's a church when they come on Sunday, before they go home, they are already dazed with India hem. Look at your neighbor. You want smoke? <laughs> Pastor not get to give you. <laughs> Abomination everywhere. Another one bought condom for all the young men. He said, I know you can't hold yourself. Anytime you are hungry to do it, whether under the staircase or behind the church, make sure you wear condom. Is that a church? They have a form of godliness, but they lack the power. What does it mean by lacking the power? The ability to change is not there. Listen, God will not force change on you. You are the one to decide. When that girl came into my room at that hour, thank God for the grace of God. I don't know what came over me. Somehow, holy anger was upon me. I said, Rose, get up. Get out of here. I opened the door and pushed her out. That was what saved me. He said, but I thought you loved me. I think that you say you will marry me. I, I say, if you give your life to Christ, I will marry you. The following Sunday, Rose was in church. <laughs> she was following me, pie, 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 but I knew that she wasn't saved. I thank God. God kept me from that. I have seen temptations more than you. The enemy knows me and he wants to make sure I, you know, I fall. But the grace of God will sustain me. Thank God for some of you who are eager and praying for me. Because if you were not praying for me, I would probably compromise. Don't ever assume that you are too strong and you are too powerful and you cannot fall into sin. Listen, sin does not die. It's you that will die to sin. Are you listening to me? Yes, sir. Romans chapter 6. Romans chapter 6 from verse 8. Live a sanctified life. Look, tell your neighbor, if you want to overcome sin, you, to overcome sin, you are going to work hard. Going to work hard. You have to live a sanctified life. The grace of God has appeared unto us not to encourage us to commit sin or help us to commit sin because forgiveness is ahead of us. The grace of God has appeared unto all men teaching us to deny what? Godliness. Ungodliness and sinful things. Are you listening to me? Yes, sir. Don't make jest of the Christianity you are practicing. Don't let anybody, you know, desecrate your Christianity and talk ill of Jesus in your presence and make a mockery. Because there are many who are not called to this cause. It is money that call them and their belly. And they don't care. There are pastors in this country. They will sleep with at least five girls on Sunday morning before they mount the pulpit. Because it's a covenant. And that's how they get the anointing. The anointing is not from God. The anointing is from mommy water. So be careful. And there are some of you, no amount of my preaching will change you. As I'm even preaching now, you are angry. You are even blaming yourself. Why did I come today? If I knew that this word is going to preach, I would not come. The Lord will arrest you. I said the Holy Spirit will arrest you. 
the Holy Ghost will touch you. We give you a new heart and take away the stony heart. Can I hear amen somebody? Live a sanctified life. You are not ordinary person. You are child of the most high. You have been called. A price has been paid on your head. Jesus sacrificed his life for you. He loves you. He cares about you. And he wants you to live for him. I live for Jesus. Day after day. I live for Jesus. Let's come what may. The Holy Spirit. I will obey. I live for Jesus. Day after day. Look at your neighbor and tell him, have the fear of God. And live for Christ. Read now, if we be dead with Christ, if we are dead with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with him. Uh -huh. Knowing that Christ being raised from the dead, uh -huh. dead no more. Death had no more dominion over him. For in that he died, he died unto sin once. Uh -huh. But in that he liveth, he liveth unto God. Uh -huh. Likewise, reckon... Now look at it. Just what happened to Jesus. Likewise, you do the same. Die to sin. Reckon yourself to be dead unto sin and alive unto God. This is the way Christians live. Tell your neighbor, sin does not die. It's you that will reckon yourself dead to sin. Have you ever put anybody that died in a mortuary? Then when you, after one week, you go and fry chicken and cook jollof rice and go and give to him to eat. If actually he died, when you carry the rice and jollof and everything and chicken to the mortuary, will the man eat it? If you can't find your rice and chicken, it was the attendant that ate it. Not the dead man. So you reckon yourself to be dead. And this attitude or this act of reckoning is done by faith. Are you listening to me? The just shall live by faith. You do it by faith. You see yourself dead to sin and you see yourself alive unto God. You can look at a beautiful girl and not lost after her. You can see a beautiful woman and not lost after her. Because you are dead to sin and you are alive unto God. It's a mindset. Are you listening to me? Read on. Let us let not sin therefore reign in your mortal body. Do you see that? That you should obey it in the lust thereof. Uh -huh. Neither yield ye your members as instruments of unrighteousness. Of now the take sin. note of the word yielding. Yielding. You have to yield to sin before you can commit sin. Temptation is not sin. It is yielding to temptation that is sin. Are you listening to me? The thought of having sex with somebody is not a sin. Are you listening to me? Now this I have to clear. It's God that put in your system the desire for the opposite sex. It is not Satan. And the reason why he put it there is so that you can have a family. So if you are hungry for sex, the best way to have it, get married, are you listening to me? And you can sleep with your wife. I sleep with my wife. You can't come to my house and arrest me or tell me I'm committing sin. That's the way God put it. But if I leave my wife because I have a desire for sex and any woman I see, I go and sleep with, then I have missed the way then I don't have an understanding of what God has done. The one you join yourself with becomes one with you. I was in Bible school 1979 
And Papa Elton, a white man from England, was our lecturer. And he was teaching us about living the life of purity and holiness. And he asked those of us who are young men, he said, how many of you are married? And all of us, almost all of us, no one was married. And he laughed. He said, many of you here, you are married. And I said, what do you mean? He said, how many of you have slept with any girl? We raised our hand. We were honest. If I ask you now, you're not going to raise your hand. <laughs> you will pretend that you have not even done, you are a virgin. If I ask now, how many virgins do we have, do we have in the house? Many of you will raise your hand by faith. I'm a virgin by faith. <laughs> I'm not looking for virgin by faith. I'm looking for practical virgin. But some of you girls, you are not married yet. And your body is like, you know, Badagri Expressway. You know? There's nothing left for your husband, that your future husband, to enjoy. Because when it gets into you, it's like it's inside drum of water. Say in thing too small. Not being thing too small. Now you spoil the whole thing. You know? They marry you single. The man marrying you didn't know that he's marrying Benjamin. It's not only cars that are Benjamin used. There are girls who are Benjamin. Any Benjamin here, raise your hand. Look at your neighbor say, yield your members as instruments of righteousness. Yield your members unto God. Can I hear amen? amen. Romans chapter 12 verse 1 to 2. I beseech you therefore brethren by the mercies of God that you present your bodies as a living word, sacrifice, holy acceptable unto God which is your reasonable service and be not conformed to this world. Ah, be not conformed to this world but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind control your thoughts control your mind to be carnally minded is death but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. The choice is yours. As a man thinking in his heart. Guard your heart. With all diligence. Because out of it. Are the issues of life. All that determines the course of your life. You are where you are. Because of your thought. You are doing what you are doing. Because of the way you think. Ha, ah, pastor, I cannot live without sex. You will go to hell. I can't live without stealing. I don't, I don't want to operate a computer, but my fingers are shaking. Telling me, press. <laughs> and dupe somebody. I asked a Yahoo boy one time, if you were the owner of the person you are duping and defrauding, if you were the owner of the money, will you be happy that you saved 50, you know, thousand dollars somewhere and somebody from nowhere just pressed button and took everything? Won't you faint? That's the height of wickedness. That's why you see them mad and many will still go mad. But if you are in this hall and you have been pressing, before we close, come to the altar. Tell God, I don't want to press anymore. I surrender my life. Whatsoever be your weakness, whatsoever be the thing that is troubling you, you will give it to God. I say you will give it to God. Stand on your feet. If I preach too much, you will not remember. 
2 Timothy chapter 2 from verse 19. Tell your neighbor, live a sanctified life. Live a sanctified life. Control your thoughts. Tell him, control your thoughts. Control your thoughts. Yeah, go ahead. Nevertheless, the foundation of God standeth Nevertheless, sure. the foundation of God standeth sure. Having this seal. Having this seal. God knoweth them that are God his. knows those who belong to him. And let everyone that nameth the name of Christ. If you claim you are a Christian. Depart from iniquity. Stay away from iniquity. Tell your neighbor, depart from iniquity. Choir, you are singing, oh, it's good that you are singing. But when Satan fell from heaven, because he was a choir director, he fell inside the choir. I don't mean this choir. You can just be singing and be singing and be singing. Before you know it, you sink to bed. I was a choir director. I married early because of the temptation and the wahala of choir girls. Because, in fact, I told mommy, one came to my house when I wasn't married and was with me. You just talking, we just in the choir now. She wanted a rehearsal in my house. And the rehearsal shouldn't end just in the house, but it should end on the bed. She was talking and talking and talking and talking. Me, I was not responding. I look at time to 10 in the night. This girl was not moved. So I called her, I said, are you not going home? Look at the time. He said, no, I will sleep here. Sleep for where? Ah. I said, no. Thank God, very close to me was a Christian mother. An elderly church member. I left her. I went and called the woman. I said, I have trouble in my house. I said, you know that girl? Say said, yes. You will carry her. If you're not very rich in her, let her sleep with you for your house. Not for my house. Do you want to live right? You have to make the decision. And I called her. She came. He said, oh yeah. Get up. Let's go. She did do it. I said, follow. And she left. Never listen. You may not commit sin. But don't create an atmosphere for sin. Are you listening to me? Be wise. Don't be stupid. Girls, come into your house and say, well, we have no place to sleep. Can you give us accommodation where we can sleep past the night? And you are the only one in the house. When you lock the door, the people in the area, they will say, ah, so this brother we trust, this pastor we trust, now two now they knock at once. You have already succeeded in messing up your name. Tell your neighbor, flee every appearance of evil. Tell your neighbor, set your affection on things above. Finally, Philippians chapter 4 verse 8. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, Whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue and if there be any praise, what do you do? Think on these things. Colossians chapter 3, verse 1. You are dead with Christ and you do no longer have your own life. Set your affections 
on things above. Are you listening to me? Yes, sir. You cannot be thinking about two things at the same time. Are you listening to me? God didn't create you that way. You are to think about things above. I live for Jesus. Day after day, stand on your feet, everyone. I live for Jesus. Oh, yes. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, I will obey. I will obey. I live for Jesus. Day after day. That thing that is besetting you, that thing that is causing me to fall, every weakness that you have, you are going to present it to God. Lift your two hands to heaven. Say, Heavenly Father, I rededicate my life to you. I give myself back to you. Do a walk in my life. Heal my lustful eyes. Heal my body. Heal my soul. Deliver me from death. Deliver me from evil. Let me set my love on you. Give me self-control. Let me discipline my body. Bring it under. That I will not fall into sinful acts. I will not follow the evil ones. Every I take not. Restore unto me, restore unto me the joy, the joy of my salvation, and renew right spirit within me. Just be playing the song at the background. If you are in this hall, you need to give your life to Christ. You need to rededicate your life to Christ. You are coming back home. Maybe you wandered away. You are like the prodigal son. But you have heard the word this morning. And you are coming back. You are coming back and telling God. I'm sorry for my sins. I want to rededicate myself to you. I'm coming back home. Raise your right hand. I'm coming back home. Raise your right hand. You're giving your life to Christ. Raise your right hand. Please raise your right hand. Don't play with it. Raise your right hand I say. I want to pray with you. Raise your right hand. God is calling you. Jesus is calling you. Those of you raising your hand, leave your seat and come and meet me here. Create in me a clean heart. Oh, start coming, start coming. Either you are giving your life to Christ or you are rededicating your life. Come forward. Come on, come on, come on. Thank you, thank you. Create in me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, God. oh I renew, I renew right spirit within me. Please cast me not away. Mendroke satala yabata, replike sete manungre kasota. Spread of the living God, you alone can save. You alone can deliver. You alone can deliver. You alone can say, Touch Restore unto me the joy, the joy of my salvation. I renew, I renew my spirit within, within me. God is calling you. God is calling you. If you are in the house, you want to rededicate your life, come and join them. Come and join them. You may not have this chance again. A lady had the call like this in a church service like this. And she had it in her heart. She refused to yield. And at the close of the service, she was the first to rush out. And she said she was going somewhere. As she was going, she stumbled into a live electricity wire. She didn't know. At the time she got to that place, that's when the wire fell. 
and fell on her and she was electrocuted and she died. Where did she go? Hell. Hell is not for one billion years. Hell is not a place you spend one trillion years then they will release you. It's eternal. It's eternity. Once you are there, you are there forever. And the Bible said they will be gnashing their teeth and they will be eaten by worms and these worms don't die. And you don't die too. But you are in punishment forever. I don't want to. God forbid I won't go to hell. And those of you standing here, you won't go to hell. I say you will not go to hell. Those of you standing here, say after me, Lord Jesus. Say it loud. Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Make me your child. Save me today. Give me a new heart and a new spirit. I receive you by faith into my life. Transform me. Change my life. Let your Holy Spirit walk in me now and walk forever in my life. I believe with my heart and I confess you with my mouth that you are my Lord and my Savior. Thank you for saving me. Amen. Now I want the pastors and some you know, committed believers, all the pastors, take them one by one and write their name for yourself and you will follow them up. Whether male or female, it doesn't matter. But you know God and you can have peace. They can have peace. Pick, pick the lady and any, you know, who is taking this one? Who is taking this girl in the choir? I need somebody to take this. This young man. All of you don't want to walk. <laughs> no one wants to walk in God's house. I am saved. Is that all? You must be a laborer in God's house. Take them one by one. Write their phone numbers and everything. And when you copy them, write them and also give me a copy. Alright? So that when you fail to call them, I will call them. I surrender. Everybody sing it. I surrender. All to Jesus. Blessed Savior. Oh yes, I surrender. Lift your hand and sing it. Oh yes, I surrender. I surrender. Surrender. I surrender. I surrender. Everybody sing. I surrender all to Jesus. Unto Jesus. Bless. Oh, I surrender all. Fill my cup, love. I lift it up, love. Everybody sing it. Come and quench this is of my soul. Bread of heaven. Lift it up. I lift it up, Lord. Come, come and quench the thirst of my soul. soul. Bread of heaven, bread of heaven, feed me, feed me till I want no more. Fill my cup, fill it. 
your two hands on your head. Spirit of the living God, do a surgical work in our lives. We can't change ourselves, but you can change us. Do it for me, Lord. Do it for this ones, Lord. No one that have heard the sound of my voice today, we spend eternity in hell. We die a premature death. We borrow before eating. For you shall have more than enough. For the Lord will bless your basket. He will bless your bread. He will bless your body. I pronounce sun health upon your body. I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health even as your soul prosper. May your soul prosper. May your body prosper. Every sickness you came in with, you will not go home with it. I say, you will not go home with it. I kill it from the root. I cause it to die in the name of Jesus. Every manipulation of witchcraft over your life or family, I destroy it this afternoon. I command that you be set free. Be delivered. I say be delivered. I say be delivered. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Be delivered. I said, be delivered. Are they meant to aid? Clap your hands and rejoice. 